So now in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at why you wanna give parallel LEDs their own protective resistors. So sometimes you may be able to get away with it, but that is less desirable, as we'll look at uh, later on. And in some cases, when they're different colors, they have different forward voltages, you may absolutely need to give each LED its own protective resistor. These two LEDs have the same resistor setting the current through them. They both drop the same voltage there. So you see when I yank this LED, that LED gets brighter and the current stays the same. Again, when I return the LED, we have the uh, same current. Now they're both lit, that one's a little bit dimmer. That's because whatever current's making it through the resistor is being separated through the LEDs. They're getting a fraction of the current. If we had the maximum current they could handle right now and you removed one, it would get too much current because it would be getting twice as much. Now with the blue LED, it has a higher forward voltage than the red LED. And uh, that's why only the red LED is lit up. This is kind of regulating the voltage across the blue LED so it's not high enough for it to light up. It's getting that uh, full current. Now you are going to see the current go down a bit because it has a higher forward voltage. So now there's less current going through the resistor. But it's all going through the blue LED. And I don't know if you can tell that uh, blue LED is a lot brighter than uh, that one right there. Annoyingly bright when you're looking at uh, it in person. So I used a higher value uh, resistor to protect the blue LED than the red one right there. So it's not as bright and as obnoxious. But uh, in any case, main takeaway is with parallel LEDs, you generally want their own uh, protective resistor. And there's special LEDs, I don't have any, but there are special ones out there that have resistance in them that will take care of it for you. You just put the voltage they're rated for across them. Um, but uh, that's it for this video. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.